Hi, my name is Susan Musgrave. Welcome back into my kitchen. Military way stationed here in Germany. We're going to start off today, we're going to do a cheese ball with awesome ingredients. Very fast, very simple. Are you ready? Let's get started. We're going to start off with, this is green onion. You have a half cup green onion, finely chopped. You have a half cup celery, finely chopped. We have a half cup corn, excuse me, corn carrots, <laughs> finely chopped. A half cup of bacon, finely chopped. We have two teaspoons of garlic, and I have one small red hot pepper, very few seeds, finely chopped. The more seeds you have, the hotter you get. For garnish around the plate, I have olives and I have some spinach leaves. Now, you heard me say a lot about finely chopping. Don't get scared. Finely chopping is very easy to do if you don't have a food processor. This is very easy to do. This is just a regular old steak knife and you take and you just keep chopping and making it smaller and smaller. You can just take your blade, let me move some of these out of the way, I got too much in there. You just hold the tip down and you just cut it. If <laughs> These will stay. <laughs> this one's not wanting to work for the demonstration. I will win out in the end. So don't worry when you hear things are finely chopped. Don't think, oh no, I don't have a food processor. I need to run out and get one. Railer steak knife works just great. There it is. All right, let's move this aside and get our cheese ball going. You're, I am using two eight ounce packages of one third less fat fully cream cheese. It's already softened. Give me one second and I'll show you how to mix all of it together. Alrighty, I'm going to show you how to set the plate up first. I just got a beautiful little napkin here, regular beautiful clean plate. So I'm going to take some spinach leaves and I'm going to set them around in the center of the plate. And you want to do this before you do the cheese ball and you'll see why here in a minute. And it's okay, like I have a little ripped corner on this leaf, not a problem because I'm going to be putting another leaf right over it so it won't be seen. And you don't have to have spinach leaves on there. You don't have to get all fancy. Alrighty. We got the cream cheese. We take celery. And you can add other vegetables to this. I add carrots. If you want peppers, like red pepper, bell peppers, those are great in here too. Then we got the green onion. And if you're a vegetarian, you don't need to add the bacon. But for us meat lovers out there, we're adding the bacon. Now that's a whole package of bacon. Doesn't look that much when you chop it up. <laughs> And we got some onion with just a little bit of seeds. Sorry, we have red pepper with just a little bit of seeds. And garlic. Now we're going to mix all this up together in the bowl. Look at all these beautiful colors. You just mix away. And you will get messy making this because we got to firm it into a ball. We might need to touch it a little bit so the people that don't like to touch their food just get some gloves on. But you can see right now, look, I'm using a spatula and I'm just mixing it all together. Look how beautiful this is. This is great any time of year. You can see all these beautiful colors. And I'm using a scraper not a spoon so that way it's flat I can, you can see I can clean off the edge is very easy and then we're just going to firm it up into a ball and this is where you make it a little dirty and I'm going to smash mine one more time because I saw some big chunks of cream cheese in there so if you see a white spot just smash it up this is great to have with chips with other vegetables <laughs> This is great for parties, and it's ready to go. It's, you saw, it takes me about five minutes to chop up all my vegetables. And that's without a food processor. 
Alrighty, I'm gonna take this very carefully. <laughs> Hang on here. This is where I make it messy. Try to shape it here as much as I can. I'm gonna spread my leaves out just a little bit. And I have to say my children and my husband are loving appetizer week because they get to eat appetizers for dinner like every night. Need another big leaf. Here we go. Aha. Alrighty. Very carefully take it, set it there. You got it all firmed about. It's a beautiful cheese ball. It's ready to eat right now. You don't need to wait and put it in the fridge. It doesn't need to be sitting overnight. It's ready to go. And you're like, hang on, Sue, what about the olives? Well, people either like olives or they don't like olives. So whenever I make any type of dish, I always use big olives. And that's where we're just gonna take these olives and set them around. Put my little leaves down. See this way, people who like olives, they're going to go right for the bottom and go right after these olives. And those that don't like olives, they'll get off the top. Not a big concern. And if you notice, it's not perfectly round, but it's going to taste delicious. This is a great appetizer for any occasion. And you can see the beautiful colors in it. The best crackers to have with this, if you're going to have crackers, is wheat thins. And that's what we're going to have. As soon as I find my wheat thins, where'd my wheat thins go? Okay, who stole the box of wheat thins? Haha. -ha. They found the culprit. Do they will magically appear? Alrighty. Let me just take. Put the chips all around. Sorry, not chips. Some beautiful crackers, wheat thin crackers. All right, we got a beautiful cheese ball. In under 10 minutes, mmm. The only problem that you're gonna have with this is everyone's gonna want you to make it. Everywhere you go, they're gonna be like, hey, look at that cheese ball you made. Well, time to look at my video. Here it is, an outstanding, wonderful cheese ball for any time of year. Mm. Enjoy!